What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten? You cannot use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm, just your face. Um, my face when I wake up five, but when I put myself together six. You're average looking at best. She disgraced herself. Real men don't talk like this. This year, a lot of people lost all their money. So yeah. does that mean because we're six figures in March and they're now uh, jobless, they're mm -hmm. useless? It isn't every man who would reject a lady with a kid. Yeah. The guy has got a point and he doesn't have a point. And you are not going to die alone. Amen. I want. Nobody has been in this woman's shoes before. No. She had this child. Yes. At 16, no, she said. At 16, there's no man. Mm -hmm. She has been raising this child herself. Mm -hmm. Now she doesn't want anything, low. Yeah. She wants something. I would want the same pen. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to bring myself to the level that I was before. I was like, I was, like, I was look no, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. We thank God. We mm -hmm. actually thank the mm -hmm. Lord that she didn't come there rolling head. It says disagreement day. Oh, I know, but this is my first time catching it on live. Normally, I'm asleep. <laughs> and, um, you have a job? I do. I own a business. Okay, so I do too. And I do have a question. If you but don't I have a business. And if you wanted my advice, you could always book a session if you can't catch us at the show live. Yeah. I'm definitely, I was trying to go online um, earlier. But, but, session. but all you have to do, ma'am, see, what kind of business do you own? I own a pet grooming, doggy daycare, and indoor Okay, dog so dog. what you're basically trying to do is I have a disagreement day, and you basically came in and said, damn your topic, I want to ask you what I want to ask you. And okay. that's But you are more than welcome to go on my website and purchase your time to talk with me one-on-one. -on -one. He has sessions on his website. One on one, you can pay him. I'm sure it's a lot of money, but yeah. What you're trying to do is rather rude, but I will go ahead and do it because I'm going to use this as a teaching lesson. How old, okay. are, you? How old are you? I'm 35. 35 years old. 35 years old, and you're a business owner. Uh huh. Um. So uh, my issue is, ha well, I want to know at what point when I'm just meeting a guy, do I tell him that I'm a business owner because. Um, my problem is that when I try to date down and I, the conversation comes up to where I own a business, um, the guy is either like, hey, can I come join in on you on that business? Or can I put some money and be a business partner? And I'm not looking for that. And I honestly... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to be clear on this subject. Where are you? Where are you at? North Carolina. And you're saying when to tell somebody you own a business? Because um, I find when I date down, God uh -huh. be an interest and want to be like a business partner, and um, I'm learning that maybe I need a high value man because that's what. Well, I first off, um, ma'am, I really don't understand. Uh, what kind of man are you talking about? Because uh -huh. owning a business is no different than having a job, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm not getting what you're saying. When should you? I'm not understanding why this is an issue. If you're, if you're, what kind of men are you? What kind of men are you dating? Um, I try to give, I try to give guys that not yeah. you, a chance. You try to do what? I try to give guys that's not on my level a chance. Why? What do you mean on your level? What does that mean? That's making six figures or more. But I don't under. Okay, you try to give guys who are not on your level a chance. Why? And Because I want, I honestly want a six-figure guy. The men you want are not asking you out. See, you ladies do this. You go and deal with men who you feel are beneath you, and then you ask how to fix them. I'm not beneath you. I don't know how to fix a guy that doesn't, that's down there. That's not my concern. The better question is, why can't you get a guy on your left? That's, that's the real question. Advice. Well, the I first thing, well, well, I, I don't get, I don't say things for no reason. That's why I asked you questions. You're 35 years old, a business. Owner. That means you understand what business is, and you know this is a business. And I have a and I have a show title. And you said your show title. I want to talk to you, but you could have went to my business and booked time to talk to me. But you wanted what you wanted, how you wanted. I'm sorry. No, it's but the, and I'm using this as lesson. That's the problem with too many of you black women. You don't do sh the right way with black men. That was improper. Do you guys think that's true? Yeah, right. So that sometimes people take advantage of the fact that, oh, this is a black guy. This this is a brother. Mm -hmm. So I can just come on there 
with my black self and be like ah i know you had a totally different topic for today but i'm just gonna butt in because you will help me because i'm one of you kind of thing okay but the guy the the program that he was hosting mm -hmm. was not what this lady came in for mm -hmm. no he usually he whatever she's asking he might have a topic like that another day but this mm -hmm. was not the day so he was already annoyed mm -hmm. okay so the lady came in on a day that the, the topic, topic was, was different, different. Oh, yes right, yeah. okay but then he was like okay and first of all he has a website where you can book a one-on-one -on -one and you don't have to come publicly like this mm. he's about to really go in on her hard and pretty much insult her and that's what went viral mm. and a lot of people are angry at him and a lot of people that are on his side are like so but why did the woman call in mm. at the same time it was the wrong day you could have had a one-on-one -on -one and saved yourself all this embarrassment because now if i see this lady in the street i will know who she is it doesn't really matter at the end of the day but if she's somebody who is easily embarrassed this is terrible for her and her business and her image and everything she came in there and it was the wrong day and he said that's the problem with you black women you you like doing this type of stuff and you know what's interesting just last week or so there was a restaurant by a black guy um well it was a reason by a black guy and they were playing rap music mm. and there were black women standing on tables mm. twerking mm. holding furniture like this twerking mm. and a lot of people were saying you see if this was a right white establishment you wouldn't have done this mm -mm. it's like there's a different level of respect mm. but when it's your own people are like oh, oh oh do you guys think that's true or not even in african shops this is a thing where people be like, oh, can't you just give me this little thing? Can't you mm -hmm. just, can't you just add this? Oh, I'll pay you back. You or sold. when you sew uh, dresses for people, kente and this and that. Mm -hmm. People be all, oh, yeah, you know, I'll come with the money next week. We are the only people that do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know anybody who does that. And surely because we do that, other people are going to do that to us. Mm -hmm. They see it. So he's not right uh, wrong when he's saying that you know mm -hmm. this is something you, you guys like to do i wouldn't have the audacity to call in on a show when i know that this is not the topic mm. in the first place the lady was wrong to have called in when she knew the topic was different mm -hmm. you know that is a fact but the fact still remains that ladies have to be treated differently mm -hmm. you know you have to respect a lady mm -hmm. irrespective of where she's coming from her age and you just name it mm -hmm. but this guy went too hard on her mm -hmm. you know she could have he could have simply say oh uh lady uh maybe your topic uh it would have been better for you to book an, a one-on-one -on -one appointment mm -hmm. because he has a program like that mm -hmm. you book you book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me so that we delve into your issue mm -hmm. by you calling in here that is a misplaced priority mm -hmm. you know you, you, i think you, the guy was a bit rude Mm -hmm. he was Very totally rude. he was totally rude this lady you don't know the problem that she had before mm -hmm. she came on the pro, on the distance mm -hmm. so talking to her nicely oh lady it was uh, mom it was nice that you came on the show i respect your 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 coming on the show or your keenness for yeah. you wanting advice from me Be because, because you, why you, are people... you you coming on the show trying to get advice from me that is very nice of you but unfortunately the topic for today is quite is very different you know so i would advise you maybe in the future we would have a program that uh, you can come in with that topic the topic that you have now or you can book an appointment one and one if if it is the payment that you are afraid of maybe she's a business owner i thought about that but then mm -hmm. she's a business owner mm -hmm. so She's yeah. doing well for herself as well, not just a business. No, but the, the guy could say that yeah, to yeah, a lady. Yeah, yeah. That if the, the payment that you are afraid of, I can even decide to do it for you at a reduced cost. But you know free. what I think about this guy? I don't think he's particularly a nice person. Mm. There's people like that. He's not a nice person. There are people like if that. If he's and not that's... a nice person, then this is not a place for her. Mm. You know, because yeah. you have, oh, yeah, you have yeah. become a public figure. Mm. And as a public figure, so many different people will come from you. People from all angles will come on your show, so you really need to be a nice person. Otherwise, this but show he's, is he's he's soaring, he's doing very well. In fact, his channel has grown from I think about 180 when this first started, 180 thousand subscribers, to now the last I saw is 216 thousand subscribers. 
in the last week or so, he's just gained about thousand, two thousand every yeah, single day or maybe, more. Maybe it's just because of what he did to this it's, lady. It's definitely you because know, of people, that. Is it worth it? For him, it is. That's money. Is it worth it to disgrace this woman to get money? To him, it is. But a lot of people are saying, is, did he disgrace her or did she disgrace herself? Why uh, did she call she, in? She, she disgraced herself. But you see, like I said earlier on, women need to be treated differently. Mm -hmm. You know, the lady, you don't know what actually pushed her into the show. You don't know what actually motivated her to come on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, so in that, in that, talking about that, the lady actually didn't do well coming on the show. Uh, Knowing what, what, what he's like. This was not her first time hearing him either. Mm -hmm. She's a regular person. It's like people watch Oprah, Dr. Phil. She tunes in. Mm -hmm. So she knows what he's like. Yeah. Then I don't get it. But I was also a bit angry when he was starting all black people. All black people are not like that. They are That's nice black also women. true. It's, That's also it's, true. It's, it's he likes he likes lumping black all men black women. To, you know, to, to, you know, like you know, you know, you know what I would yeah. say. You know my take on the whole thing. Uh, they say two wrongs do not make right. right. Mm -hmm. So uh, the woman having come there, not I mean knowing very well that that was not um, what the show was meant for on that particular day. Mm -hmm. That was wrong, and that was where I was expecting an experience and uh, whatever he calls himself, a YouTuber or whatever he calls himself. That is where I was expecting him to have used his ex because the lady is 35 years. Mm -hmm. And undoubtedly, this man I'm seeing here is older than 35 He's 51. Years. He's 51. Or maybe just old enough to be an uncle. You know, so... no beard. No, be her dad. No, <laughs> knowing, that, knowing that this uh, woman was wrong, you should have talked to her a bit politely. Mm -hmm. Lady, I mean, I can understand your point. A lot of women have got this issue. But maybe because of you coming on the show, I will make a show in that regard yeah. very soon so that we can discuss this. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, then you, you dismiss this lady nicely. Nice. It's, not, it's not actually worth but it. But it's worked for him. This no, is what he does. No, those people who have been watching him, I, I know. Those people who have been watching him, I will, I will seriously advise that they pick the shows that they watch. It's a fragment of his usually two to two, two to three hour long live stream, which people watch, mm -hmm. tune into daily mm -hmm. or every few days. He does it very often. Now, this is a clip out of that because he thought I was going viral. Now they took just this clip and posted on his YouTube channel mm -hmm. called the Your Average at Best interview or whatever it's called mm -hmm. so that is even more trying to capitalize off of this woman's you know struggle Misery. but the problem is there's a lot of people that agree with him but you know you think you guys think he's been rude we've not even seen the half of it this <laughs> I mean, even when i told you the right way you still were like uh well whatever yeah uh and was that man uh did you go to college did i go to college yes no sir okay and how long have you owned your own business nine years and how and how long have you been making six figures or more on um, the last three okay why do you need a man making six figures um because what do you guys think why does she need a man who earns six figures when she already earns six figures she's also putting the bar too high yeah you know because uh you can pick somebody who doesn't have anything. Mm -hmm. If you're really in love and you're really looking for a man, Something you know, on. you can take an average person and you you bring him up. Mm -hmm. You know, you bring him up. It is true that some men, when they come and they know you are well to do, they they, they, they will help you to squander the, the 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 money that you have and they leave you. Mm -hmm. That is, it, it's a it's a you know it's a it's a risk game. Yeah, it's a risk game here. But but then I think if she's really looking for a man, she's putting the bar too high. Mm -hmm. You know, she's she's putting the bar too high. And I'm not actually. I I know a woman, and the woman, you know, has been looking for a man for a very long time. And the last time I spoke to her, she said, "Oh, she needs a woman. She needs a man who has got a who has got a big car, who has, who has got a, a big house." Mm -hmm. Who has got a, a certain amount of money in the mm -hmm. in the bank account, <laughs> and that ma man never came. So eventually, what she did was that she went and she asked somebody's uh, husband. <laughs> yeah, because she remained. She was oh remain, She was remaining 
alone for the rest of her life. You see, so at times you really need to limit your your demands. Mm-hmm. If it is too much, let's go on. I was not expecting you to say that. Wow. That the guys that I think that's not is not working out. What does it have to do with money? Because I feel like um, I need a guy that I can respect and admire, and I'm a bitch and bitch and I want. Can you? This is very problematic a no, little so bit so because that's I mean no, you no, cannot no, respect no. a guy who doesn't earn that six figures. Money. A lot of people were earning six figures this year. This is this was shot like two weeks ago or ten mm. days ago. This is very recent. This year, a lot of people lost all their money. So yeah. does that mean because there were six figures in March and they're now uh, jobless, they're mm-hmm. useless? Mm-hmm. They have the ambition. So so what is that about? Do you guys think that's right? No. It's not right. No. What she's saying is also not very good. You know? I, I, I think... Uh, she has... Yeah. Well, you know, you can blame the money in a way, but I really don't know the sort of... Yep. The sort of preparation that this lady did before she came on the show, because whatever she's saying, I, I don't, I really don't think she had, she really had to put herself in that situation. You know, mm-hmm. she didn't have to put herself in that situation. <clears throat> Being a high demanding uh, woman, well, I've seen people who have, who were like her, and uh, it backfired. Ah that has that drive too and when he doesn't i find myself you know encouraging him like hey babe you can do this and you can do that and then all right so in north carolina how, what percentage of the population what percentage of men in this country make six figures or more i think it's like five percent i'm not closer, closer to ten so ten percent okay. oh, all right so the question is what do those men who make that kind of money who all women tend to want what do they want i feel like they want arm candy somebody who can um have more to bring to the table than just looks but um also bring balance to their life i feel like i can help them out on um okay slow down i'm not understanding you said they want arm candy then you contradicted yourself you want, they want somebody that more than just looks yeah arm candy but something about you know brain with it and you so know more in depth. do you own, do you know any men who make six figures or more my dad and my uncle do you excuse me do you know any men that you are related to that make six figures or more i'm related to yeah, yeah that you are not level. related to. Not on a personal level. So you don't know them. You don't know what they want, but you want them. Man, <laughs> I'm going to suggest that you really don't know what you want. And saying six figures is just something that you get taken from out there. But I'm not hearing this rooted to anything. But what do you want ultimately? Do you want to be married? Children? What? Yes, I want to be married. Do you want any children? Yes. How many? Um, I have a son now, so... How old is your son? He's 13. Where's the father? So now, all of a sudden, she has a son. Mm. This is not somebody who is single, mm. no children, no baggage, and it's a shame they call kids baggage, but they always call them baggage. This is a lady who comes with something. Do you think that is attractive for a high value man? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think no. Mostly they want women without women who have, who they have no children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Oh, you you know, well, I don't think it is a. Uh... She can still have a man, but I mean, it's not uh, what she wants. It mm-hmm. isn't, it isn't, uh, yeah. I mean, it isn't every man who would reject a lady with a kid because i know people who have married ladies with two three children and they've gone they've yeah they've they've gone uh, on to be successful uh, to have a successful marriage Mm -hmm. you know i quite uh, recently i reacted i interacted with a guy who had she met a lady the lady had three children and she, he has ever had four. So they married, so now they have seven together. And they're happy. They're very, very happy. <laughs> they're very happy together. They can't, they can't fit in any house. Because <laughs> the two together, they, have, they are nine. Oh. And they are no room, no house has got nine rooms here. You know, so it's a, it, it depends. You can, you can still find, without somebody, excess baggage, yeah. you can, you you can, can still find, find somebody. Can well, that's not what he thinks. Mm. Let's go okay. further. 
Well, the hey, father of the kid is not in the kid's life. Men who make the kind of money you're talking about have options. And typically, they don't want to deal with women who are have 13-year-old sons, who are used to dating men. Who, this doesn't sound appealing to the kind of man you're talking about. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, I was thinking once I start booking session with you that... Um, I can't change men. I know, but I can approve myself, and I feel like I have a lot to offer to those type of men. Oh, oh wait. I want to pause there. This is why you need to know who you go to for advice. A lot of people don't like those shows like Dr. Phil because they do, don't agree with their advice. Or pastors because they don't agree with their advice. There comes a point in your life, in your own life, where you yourself need to know what you want out of life. Mm -hmm. What you're worth. Mm -hmm. What you have to offer. And what you deserve. You don't have to always come and be asking people advice. Especially people who are known to be straightforward or not nice. Depending on how you want to put it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. Okay, but see, you should have stopped right there. I just told you, I cannot change men. And you said, once right. I book a session with you, I'm not a miracle worker. I'm telling right. you what they want. And you're still right. saying, yeah, but I want them. They don't want you. But I have been working on myself this year. And um, looking I, your okay, ma'am. But okay, 35, 13-year-old son with a sketchy father. Why would a man who's in the top 10% of earners who women across the country want want that um because i have a lot to offer um i feel like would you want your son to if you had a son making that kind of money would you want him to bring home a woman who had a 13 year old son from a sketchy father or would you prefer him to get a woman who had no children, was younger, and easier to get on his program? Depending on his age. See, um, this is, this, see, this, see, see what I mean? See what I mean? This goes so deep for black women. They will even, that oh, should have been an easy question. No, I would not want my son to bring, I want the best for my son. Mm -hmm. That should have been the appropriate answer. But is the best, does it mean that having the extra baggage or the kid means that you're not going to get the best out of life. No, you can't get the best out of life. You can't, but you, you see, can't. the percentage here is that if if uh, a normal person without that ex excess baggage would stand a better chance of getting that type of individual than this lady. Yeah. Is it because in the first place, she's got this excess baggage and secondly, I, I really don't, you know, we can blame the guy. Mm -hmm in a way but one way or the other he has, he, he's, he's got right. a point yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's got a point yeah. because yeah. this is a woman who doesn't actually know what she wants in life mm -hmm. and has got high demands mm -hmm. and it doesn't work that way mm -hmm. it doesn't want that it doesn't work that way she really needs to i, I hope yes, i stop. yeah no i hope i would uh, have a a chance of talking to this lady, <laughs> advising her seriously that uh, yeah, life is not all that. It's it's not about money. Always what you want. Mm -hmm. You have to look at what, how you have made your life, and if you are inviting somebody into your life, the best possible way you can change to make sure that you make yourself attractive and helpful to the man that is coming into your life, mm -hmm. and not just yeah, I want six figure, I want this, I want this. I think it's too much. Yeah. It's too yeah. much. Yeah. That's why I sat up. That is bull. You should want the best for your son. Of course. But this I is... Did. But... And are you thinking... <clears throat> if he brought home then, a then, woman... Yes. I feel like I'm the exception to the rule. But no, I you're not. There's, that's the problem. You all think you're the exception to the rule. But, but your life has proven to you that you're not. My love life is not that good. I agree with you. Because that's I my point. And ma'am, and that's my point. You ladies all feel like, listen, you ladies all feel like you're the exception to the rule. And then when someone like myself comes along and gives you a, a dose of reality, instead of just accepting it, it's like, yeah, but, yeah, but I'm special. You don't know any men on this level that are not your father, that aren't related to you. That means you don't know these men. You don't know where to go get them. You don't know what they want. But you're still saying, pick me. They don't want mid-30-year-old baby mamas. I'm trying to be polite, man, but they don't want those. Can I ask you a question? Did you hear what I said? Yes. Why is that so? Okay, go ahead. 
Guys, it's hilarious. Go ahead. Um, so now he's really mad. And now, <laughs> because she's not accepting the advice. Mm -hmm. And for me, if I know I'm going to a person like this, you know, I, you, you'd you have to accept. You have to make your heart. Yeah, but the fact is, the, 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 show, the show was not actually meant for this. No. And the lady, why is a guy entertaining her? <laughs> because he said he's going to make an example out of her, oh, basically. <laughs> this is yeah, payback. But you see, inviting her, inviting her and disgracing her this way is also not nice. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody should condemn anybody for having a child. No, that not. Even the fact yeah. that people are calling it baggage, people don't really like that. Yeah, because it's like it's a child. They're innocent. Yeah. They didn't choose to be here. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's continue. I, I, I get what you're saying. They, they, they do have better options. But also those better options are younger girls. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily 20 year olds are not necessarily attracted to 45 year olds. I'm, I'm 51 I, and I can't beat them off with a stick. A lot of people are saying, I don't believe you. <laughs> like, right. Because he is claiming that he's 51 and he can't beat these young women off with a stick, as in they're all flocking to him. Mm -hmm. But apparently, the reality is that he has been divorced many times and he's single now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are also like, why would you take advice from somebody who doesn't have it all together? Mm -hmm. If you know it all, mm -hmm. where is your wife? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Right. That's another one on you lies. No, younger women are always younger women are attracted to older men. What are you talking about? So can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. So do you feel like a woman like me? What does that mean? Whether she a thinks, woman like uh, whether the she thinks the guy thinks she's uh, the she type like a woman like yeah that, that the like type that, 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 that she will, he will so uh, for me even hearing this again because I've heard the many clips everywhere but hearing it for the so many thousandth time her saying that means that you know she is quite confident people who go on here I think want to challenge the guy mm. so she's ready for battle so now the battle will begin. Huh? What would you rank yourself on a scale from 1 to 10? You cannot use 7. Would I rate myself? Mm -hmm, just your face. Uh, my face when I wake up, 5. But when I put myself together, 6. Okay. And how tall are you? 5'5". Five, five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. Which is something that people don't usually ask. Especially mm -hmm. in America, that's seen as extremely rude mm -hmm. to ask somebody their dress size, tall she is. Because then you're now trying to say you don't look the type. You don't look the part kind of thing. Okay, so that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. That is so, um, did you, did you, I mean, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Breathe and digest. You're 35 years old. And you can look around and see the world. You don't tend to see higher earning men with average looking women off rip. If you do see them, they got them, they got their average looking woman when they were both really young and he built his way up. But a man earning the kind of money you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman. That's also not true. I mean, my it's not true. What do you think? No, some men, if you go for maids and so on, yeah, it's not true. Somebody made the example of, I think, Tiger Woods. He married yeah, a, he married a married nanny. A nanny, yeah. It's not is, true. Is he now married to a nanny? I don't know if it, now. No, the, the wife was a nanny. Was yes, a nanny. Yeah. yeah. But so, they divorced. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah, they yeah. divorced. Yeah. yeah. But he went for it, but her. For it, yeah. So it's not true. It's I, not I true. think with this with this type of thing, it's it's like this. You're not God. You don't know who is going to come up in this woman's life. Especially after all this. She mm -hmm. might just get herself a high value man just off of this. Mm -hmm. But you can't tell somebody that you will not get this. That you are average. So you will not get this. That's wrong. You will not get this or you're not because you're not God. So who are you to even say that? Mm -hmm. You can tell her that her chances are diminished mm -hmm. or something like that, but you can't Say it so factually. It's not average, so. But your ma'am, you, please don't make me say it. I really just wanted some advice. I love you. I'm giving you, I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. The, the advice is, ma'am, ma'am. You're average looking at best. I'm taking it in, but. Okay, but you're not accepting the fact that. Okay. The lady, uh, average looking women. Average looking woman who's older. Average looking older woman with a 13 year old son. Average looking woman with a 13 year old son with a sketchy baby daddy. 
This gets worse every time I say something. And now you're asking for a man who's in the top 10% of men. You don't qualify for one. And you're making, I mean, I don't, I don't want to have to go there. But when you put in the, all these other factors, why can't you just get a man that's an average guy? The, the, the guy has got a point and he doesn't have a point. <laughs> you know, you see, because when he says that because a woman has got a child, she does not qualify to have a high class man. Mm-hmm. That is not right. Mm-hmm. That is not right. Yeah, I mean, people, and, they also have children. And also want a woman with a child or whatever. They don't care. Yeah. They don't care. You know, so so I, I can agree with the guy and I can disagree with the guy. You know. You you can't you can't you can't just disqualify her outrightly like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you yeah, yeah. Things uh, things can be different with uh, mm-hmm. things change, you know. So just Say now yeah, you don't make any 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 Maybe chance. Maybe she suffered in a way, so now that, that's she bad. Let's that let's yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. And a lot of people were saying that she's rude because she was on her phone. Then some people say she was reading the comments because it's live. It's a live mm. uh, thing. So How often does this guy come? On? I think it's every day. From what I've seen, it's every single day, mm. and they are two to three hours long. So you sit here and watch the, all this. No, I don't. No, it's okay, just let, because of let's it. Go on. But no. People were saying that she's probably reading the comments. So as she's talking, people were like, she's ugly. She doesn't deserve. Where does she think? Ah, this black woman, she's ugly. Like, it was horrible. Sometimes I feel like um, in order to fully submit, I have to feel like he's in Well, then you're gonna, then you're gonna die alone. How about that? You, I'm gonna just cut to the chase, ma'am. Uh, you can feel like what you want to, but women like you die alone. This is a guy who does not wish you well. No. You know, you are supposed to be a sort of a counselor. A 35 year old lady comes to you for an advice, even though at a very, very inappropriate time. But to tell her that she's going to die alone, I don't want to call it a case. It could be a case. But I think he also went far, far, far below. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I, I mean, you don't you don't talk to a person like that. Mm-hmm. No matter where the person is coming from, I don't I don't care what sort of degree or how much money this guy has. She has got no right to tell her that you died to be to be telling a woman that sort of you know nonsense. I don't I don't call, I don't want to call it nonsense. I think it is rubbish. Yeah, mm. you know. You you are equally single, so you can yeah. also equally die alone. <laughs> Who die. does he think he is? <laughs> does he think that he's all that that all oh, America is just falling on his feet? No, no, not look. Not every woman looks for money. There are certain women the, the little thing that they see on you, they fall in love. But that's the problem. She's not one of those women. She wants the money. I mean, but still, she she's not gonna die alone. If she tries, she that's the thing. People were saying he should have spun it in a different way, make it positive. But let's continue. Yeah, yeah. Because you think you're better than the men that you qualify for, and the only reason, honestly, ma'am, that I can see a woman like yourself really thinking you deserve more is because you earn more because you earn more money than most people around you in North Carolina. But if your ass worked at the post office, you would not think so highly of your opportunities. And that's the reality. We don't, men don't care about your money. Not the kind of men that you want. We don't care about your money. It ain't ours. We care about the fact that you are older and you got kids and you're average. And your reality of your life has showed you that. You don't have the kind of men that you want knocking on your door trying to find you. See, what we've done in this country. You think that you have. After shows you have. You have, oh. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you not, saying that? Not, not after someone has washed you down like that. Yeah. I'm also a man talking here. Look, if you ask me for my personal take on the whole show, mm-hmm. I think they both didn't do well. No. The man and the woman, they both didn't do well at all. The woman presented herself so badly. And the man... I don't know who is actually allowing him to be doing the show like 216,000 people. Yeah, okay. It is, yeah. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't waste my time. I think I would take my Bible and read instead of watching <laughs> this guy. This world is we've told women like yourself that you can have it all and you got a Prince Charming who's six foot a hundred six feet tall, six figure income, jawline, all this other kind of stuff. And I'm sorry, man. No. Most people get average people, especially average people. And you're an average person. I mean, let's be real, you're not running Microsoft. You got you got a pet grooming business. You've been making six figures for the last three years. Okay. <laughs> but if I'm looking at you, but if I looked at <laughs> you... She's reading the comments and she's laughing. Or insanity has set in. It would be one of the two, but... <laughs> look, all that off of you, all the eyelashes and all the hair, what do you look like under there? I mean, I look the same. I'm just... No, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have all that on. I'm sorry? No, you don't. You don't look the same because if you did, you wouldn't have all that on. So, what is your advice? I also don't get. You are a man sitting here. Men always want women to look put together. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I have makeup on, but you guys see me a lot of times on this channel without makeup on, with pimples protruding mm -hmm. for everybody to see and pimple poppers to be like, oh, I wish I could. Like, I try to portray myself in different ways because the woman or a human being is not always on 10. That's not realistic. The men want people that are natural, but at the same time, they don't want the hair, the, the nails, mm -hmm. but they want somebody who is super beautiful. The super beauty comes with these things. Mm -hmm. It's decoration. I don't know what guys want. What do you think about that? I want natural. Yeah, anyway, maybe you're one in a million. I don't know. <laughs> Look at the natural woman there. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you my advice, man, because you're not listening to that's why I always recommend you need, you need therapy. People, most of us in the black community need therapy, but you're not you're not dealing with reality. I asked you about your child's father, and you couldn't answer me. But it doesn't sound like you're too proud of him. How's your, what kind of student is your child? He's an A student. What kind of, does he have any behavioral problems? No, he actually got a YouTube channel and he's trying. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need no, no, just, no. But where is it? But his daddy is still. If his daddy is alive, does he have a, a relationship with his father? Yeah, he does. Then what's your issue with him? Um, he's not um business minded like my father and my uncle and. Then why did you choose to make a baby with him before you got married? Young and dumb, I was 16. Exactly, was and that cost. See, it's that young life. and dumb, let me stop you right here. That young and dumb you black women throw out as if it's supposed to get... A... Listen and listen well, women. Young and dumb is not a get out of jail free card. It doesn't go woof and change the fact. You still have to carry that consequence. And men are not rushing up to be stepfathers to 13-year-olds. What would be better is if you honestly sat down and asked yourself, what value can I bring to a man? And I know that, what I can. Well, all right. What can, what value, what, what is it? What is it? Hmm? I can help him with his business. I'm very business minded on the um, end of helping the organizer. And I plant um, into planting my own garden. So I can definitely plant um, into um improving my elegance with um just self-improvement and, and working on myself and ma'am at um, 35 years if this was an interview she's not getting the job mm. this what can you bring to the table i mean ever since i saw this i've been thinking to myself i think we should all be asking ourselves this mm. like okay you want a high value mm. high value somebody but what can she bring to the table she came with she's working on her elegance this that that she can plant. A lot of people are clowning her for that because they're like, plant? Did this woman plant, really plant say plant? Or... Like, plant vegetables and fruits. Mm. <laughs> like, like, does that sound appealing to you? Mm. No. <laughs> no, but she's not my type of a woman. You know, I'm not putting it down, but yeah, I think uh, she, she's getting what I, she actually went in for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At well, 35 years old, here's what you told me. I can help him with his business. Do respect, ma'am, um, and I mean no disrespect, but 20 to 30% of people own businesses. What about the 70 to 80% of men who don't own them? Yeah. That means that doesn't matter. Uh, that means nothing to the average man. Then the next thing you said, I can plant. Ma'am, that means nothing to most people because we go to grocery stores. <laughs> then you say self-improvement. You've had... 
I'm, I gave you a shot at saying what you have to offer to men, and you said nothing that we value. What do you value? What do I'm you not, Book a session. Book a session. Book a session. I'm not I'm doing this. Nope, 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 nope. I'm done. I'm done. I've, I've tried to go around. But this happens. The older you ladies get, the more you get set in your ways. Book a session because I don't want to do this in public, man. Because you seem like a sweet woman, but you don't, but you're not getting it. You're being so mean. I'm not being, don't tell me I'm being mean. I've, I'm about to be mean. I get tired of you broads telling me I'm being mean because you cannot handle it. You called my show on a day that you ain't even supposed to be here. And I honored the call and sat here and tried to help you. And I'm telling you, telling me I'm being mean. The fuck out my tired of y'all doing this. I think it is the most disgusting show that I've ever watched. <laughs> no, it is true. It is the most disgusting show that I've got the dis- displeasure of watching. Because they, they both don't know what they are up to. Mm-hmm. The woman coming on a show, public show like that, allow yourself to be disgraced by a man like that, and a man washing a woman down in public. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. But this is just beyond me. This is just beyond me. They have both disgraced themselves in public. The woman especially. And the man, YouTuber, whatever he calls himself, I don't think he's qualified to call himself that way because he doesn't know how to handle people and especially women. That is my take on the whole show. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I'm off for now. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me too. Uh, you are not going anyway. Why was she saying that she's average? You know, because he no. said that she's average at best, but actually she said it by mm. saying that when she wakes up, she's a five. Mm. And then... When she when yeah. she wakes up, she's a five, and then uh, when she puts herself together, she's a six. If you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes, I think she doesn't have confidence in herself. But then, in in a sense, she does because she was like she was all like, "Can you see me?" Mm. And I feel like somebody who doesn't have confidence wouldn't even show themselves. Mm-hmm. They would just call in, refuse to put their camera on. A lot of people do that, and that would be it. She had that confidence because she was like, look at me. I want you to agree with what I'm saying in terms of how I look. Mm. And she thinks she's average. If you say scale from zero to 10, he didn't say scale from zero to six. He said scale from zero to 10 or one to 10. Either way, the five is bang on in the middle. I think there. she didn't want to rate herself rate too, high. too high. We need to stop that. Don't rate yourself too low. Don't call yourself ugly. Not even in a joking manner, because the minute somebody else says it to you, you're going to feel insulted. Mm-hmm. Who likes it when somebody calls them ugly? i wait. Nobody. So why do people say that? It's just like when some people say, I'm so fat. We are different. And the, minute, ugly. the minute somebody else then says that they're fat, oh, mm-hmm. now they're sad, literally crying. Don't say it then. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I can say it about myself. No, you're reaffirming something about yourself that is not true. Maybe it is true, to be honest. The fat is it's a factual thing. You're either overweight or you're not. Mm-hmm. But the ugly, hey, that's all the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's a lot of people are saying that she's so cute. She's cute. Dressed good. Dressed good, yeah. And all that kind of stuff, right? So I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about this topic. And I just picked a few things that people said. Um, first of all, I saw people say, look, I would never go on there and say I'm I'm a five. Couldn't have been me. I mean the secondhand embarrassment. I, I would've I'd have been up there like with the wig I'm a ten. Without the wig I'm a ten. Lashes a ten. No lashes a ten. Makeup a ten. Wake up, go to sleep, dance a ten. What are you what happened? I'm always a ten. Don't put yourself down. Because we need to come to a place where especially this woman isn't ugly. No, she's not. And to me, she's not even average. Mm-hmm. If we're really gonna go there, let's go there. Because for me, confidence also if you exude enough confidence, you're automatically beautiful to me. Mm-hmm. If your personality is so warm, you're automatically beautiful to me. But to me, if we're going to look at her physique, I mean, uh, I like natural, as you guys have always seen. I like natural. But, you know, if people can slay a wig, I'm not mad at it. Um, her skin is flawless, not a pimple inside, beautiful chocolate skin. I mean, eyes in the, you know, beauty is an eye of the beholder. There'll be somebody who does not like a dark skinned person. They just mm-hmm. don't. Mm-hmm. Just like how a lot of dark skinned people don't like white people mm-hmm. to date or to marry. 
it can be preference it can also be racism it is what it is so one of the things that people also said was his delivery did not come from a place of love he was not trying to uplift her what do you think about that it was true yeah she rather brought her solo yeah and that is very bad but do you think she was bothered for a woman yeah she will be bothered later when people come in yeah and so on but at the moment i don't think she was thinking about that no she didn't look like somebody was thinking about what the man was really saying no yeah so and i don't think she realized the impact that it would have i never mm-hmm. heard of the guy before this interview no you see mm-hmm. so now she's she's worldwide everybody knows who everybody knows who this chick is now mm-hmm. but that's a good thing or a bad thing it could be good could some be bad it could be even good for her who knows yeah. how life yeah. is you know yeah. Anyway, the second thing, so who decides what average is? You need to decide for you need to decide for yourself what you are. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? You need to put yourself on a level that is good. Not a level I'm low, I'm average, I'm this. But mm-hmm. she never said average. But she said the number and the number, number is, yeah. average. The number is average we all know this we've all been to school we know that five is average mm-hmm. so if you give yourself that that's what he's going to go with and that's why mm-hmm. i'm saying mm-hmm. we should stop saying these things about ourselves heck even if you are ugly whatever yeah you know if you if you think you are ugly to yourself you should be a 10 still mm-hmm. the fact that there's no improvement possible other than plastic surgery and all the rest of it there's no improvement possible how can you I walk but wait nice. how can you how can you walk this earth thinking you're a five mm. i don't get that yeah I, I to me that's what i don't understand mm. what do you mean five like why mm. would she come on a show like this asking for literally the moon and the stars and then proceed to say i'm a five and when i put myself together a six but he also because somewhere in this whole video because i watched the whole thing mm. because i didn't want to jump on the bandwagon of he's horrible mm. that you, sometimes you need to do your research properly sometimes you need to take your time and really let all your thoughts simmer sometimes you need a few other people like the african auntie and uncle i had with me today and you need to hear what they have to say about this right she's sizing him for a size of dress and all that it's not needed she came for advice. You don't need the size of a dress. Apparently, this is a thing he does. Just to get an idea of what she looks like. And a lot of people thought that was, it's a bit shallow. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking at the same time, you can also say, okay, it might be shallow, but what if that's what people are looking for? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, when we see people, that's what we look for, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Don't put yourself down. You made yourself a five, now he's running with it. Saying that she's average. Mm-hmm. And all the internet is saying is, he called her average. Why did he call her average? She called herself average. Mm. And I'm kind of mad at that because to me, she's pretty. She's mm. cute. Mm. But again, that's just me. But I'm worried about what she's thinking about herself. Mm-hmm. Why do you come on a guy's show who is known to be rude, straight to the point, blunt, and say that you are a five? Mm. Five is the definition of average. Average is the definition of five. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. But it's, it's the connotation to the word average. It's mm-hmm. kind of like insulting. So everybody is like, oh. Mm-hmm. But this is what he does. And maybe the rest of us are now catching on to it. We've never seen him. But before this, he already had his, what, 180,000 subscribers mm-hmm. who already knew how he is. He has a whole army of people that love him. Mm-hmm. Especially black men. They are like, yes, indeed. We need this guy to tell these useless women what it's about. Mm-hmm. You know, because there are also channels who are bashing black men. Mm-hmm. And it's women who are doing that. So it's like men feel like they also need their version. Mm-hmm. So that's this. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. But yeah, who decides what average is? Who decides who's average and who's not? You can't really. <laughs> that's another thing. But people, uh, that's what people look at. And that is also what they do on dating apps. Mm-hmm. So when you go on dating apps, they will definitely, some will even ask, I think I've seen some that will ask your weight, but some will say your height, ask your height. No, all will ask your height, actually. They'll ask your ethnicity. And obviously you're putting pictures. So people are immediately looking. Why do you think so many guys? You go on there, you say, oh, you want a, a Christian dude. 
uh, mm. with the chest all bare, with with the, the six pack, or it's sometimes no six pack. Eh? They be confident on that. <laughs> They'll just be showing that, why do I need to see your bare chest? Mm-hmm. Is there nothing that needs to be left to desire anymore? No. Mm-hmm. People want to see what they're dealing with straight. That's why you have that show where people just go naked, bum naked and show their doingy doingy and everything. And people are rated on that. Mm-hmm. The, as time is going on, it's a show on television, by the way. Uh, it's a British show. I'm going to do the voiceover for this show. So on this show... The participants start where a good date usually ends. Is how useless the voiceover is on the show. Do you like this guy's doingy doingy? Ooh, it's big. Ooh, it's round. Ooh, it's square. Ooh, would you take him home? Would you take her home? Why didn't you choose the girl in the green? I didn't like her toes. Ooh, well, that must be a big one. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, it's crooked. <laughs> Naked attraction. But yeah. As time goes on, people are becoming more and more shallow. Mm-hmm. It's more and more about what do I see? I like it. Now, who are you? Mm-hmm. And then it's like, what's your personality like? And then it's also about what can you bring to the table? Mm-hmm. Right? And a lot of people were also age shaming him. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you're 51. Now, I don't think that has anything to do with anything. I mean, the age, it is what it is. We don't know why his marriages didn't work out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be him, although his personality may or may not be difficult to deal with. (laughs) But it might be so many factors. We don't know about that. We can't speak to that. You know, I'm not going to even delve into his whole personal life. Whatever. But people are age shaming him. Some people are age shaming her. Like, like you're old now. Just take what you can get. And run with it. And run with it. What do you think about that? That is true. She'll find somebody that is... If she's not rating herself so high, she'll find somebody who can... Yeah, be okay with, with her, you know? Well, she he also said something about... Um, she'll get somebody who's average. Because she's average. It doesn't matter what he says. It doesn't matter at all. No. Nobody knows what is going to happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. She Mm -hmm. can get somebody. Yeah. So that's nonsense talk. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, a lot of people were saying that he's getting views by bringing women down. Mm. It's true. Real men don't talk like this. Yeah. No, if we're thinking about chivalry. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, because he's sitting there in his suit. And here's the thing. It's like what the African uncle said. I agree with him and I disagree with him. The first time I saw him, I, I was like, so who he think he is? Sitting all there in the suit. Is he really a businessman? I started mm-hmm. questioning a bunch of stuff. Okay. People would say angry black woman type stuff. You know? Mm-hmm. Whatever. I was, I was like, I was, no, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. We thank God. We mm-hmm. actually thank the mm-hmm. Lord. That she didn't come there rolling heads, snapping. She was just cool with it. Mm-hmm. She was calm with it. She seems like a very sweet lady. And he even said that. She seems so sweet. She is. Nobody has been in this woman's shoes before. No. She had this child. Yes. At 16, so, she said. At 16, there's no man. Mm-hmm. She has been raising this child herself. Mm-hmm. Now she doesn't want anything, though. Yeah. She wants something. I would want the same thing. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to bring myself to the level that I was before. Yeah. Yeah, so she's in a way right saying what she's saying. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. That's yeah, true. I mean, you can agree with him and disagree with him mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. at the same time. Mm-hmm. The delivery was just poor, but then she knew what she was getting mm-hmm. herself into. Mm-hmm. So again, this is all kind of for our entertainment mm-hmm. at the end of the day. Yeah. A lot of people have had loads of discussions about this. People have made loads of videos. and But yeah, that's what I was saying. So I watched this review. I saw the demeanor of the guy and I thought, hmm. And I saw that thing twirling on his desk and mm-hmm. I was like, did you just get that to make yourself look more executive? Where did you even get that? You know, mm-hmm. just to get something that a lot of people haven't seen before. You know, mm-hmm. it's just, just mm-hmm. it's just kind of hypnotizing. Like <laughs> maybe it's there to hypnotize black men. I don't know, <laughs> but, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's just there twirling around. The, the layout looks good. His camera quality is crap, but mm-hmm. other than that, he's got the mic. He's got several of them. 
and yeah you know why i say it's camera quality it's crap because you can't see his face properly mm-hmm. but yeah at the end of the day it's about the advice that he's giving we need to stop just asking everybody for advice and we need to stop putting everything on social media mm-hmm. putting all your business out there on social media for the whole world to see <laughs> for what what did she gain out of this and then who is going to help you out of this well i'm saying what did she gain out of this i'm sure by next year this time lord willing we're going to hear that she's in an amazing relationship. We're going to see her somewhere. Amazing. We are going to see her being interviewed. This might even go mainstream. Mm. Where she'll be interviewed by people and they're like, oh, yeah. Uh, how's it going now? People would like to know, like, what happened mm-hmm. to this woman, mm-hmm. obviously. Yeah. But it, it, it is very interesting because where does she meet these people? She doesn't mm. know any except for her uncle and her dad. Mm. That's not enough, yeah. though. Mm. But my thing is, yeah, okay, because they're also older it will be interesting but Mm -hmm. like don't they also then know high value people if she's in that high value category does why doesn't she also know high value Value people people. yeah Yeah. does she not mingle them does she don't have time to mingle with them is she too busy with her business or is it this coro that is also messing things up and she's not able to go anywhere but she's been doing this for three years so she's been earning this no she's been doing this for nine years but she's been earning like this for three years first of all impressive she's 35 mm-hmm. she's doing so she started when she was 26. Mm-hmm. it's not bad mm-hmm. doing very well for herself but now it's just hard the dating scene is hard it's weird coro has made it even weirder i'm sure she maybe has tried but yeah so i think she's desperate there's only so much you can talk to your girlfriends they will tell you oh you're cute you find you a queen you'll get somebody you know these are the things that we say to each other but i think now she just wanted to hear now why am i not getting somebody i want the real i want somebody who doesn't care who doesn't know me so i'm gonna call in Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe that's what it is maybe we can understand her that way i wish she gets what she wants i really wish and you are not going to die alone i want the you will not die alone tell them you still have your son. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You never die alone. Mm-hmm. You find someone, even if you are 40. It doesn't matter. Mm. We don't have to rely on more people. The, the, the things that people put on us, mm-hmm. we have to rise above those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's saying you are going to die alone. Don't listen to that one. Mm-hmm. Just go on with whatever you want. Mm. And uh, you achieve it one day. Yeah. I don't agree with her. I don't agree with the man. But yeah, so, social media will ruin your life. It will. It really yeah. will. If you let it, you let if it. You let yeah. it. So when you put yourself out there, make sure you know what you're doing. Make mm. sure your skin is tough. Yeah. Because the keyboard warriors are also exactly. there trying to really Smash disrupt. You. Yes, mm-hmm. disrupt lives, livelihoods mental states Mm -hmm. and everything you know it's interesting because african uncle was like yo they should actually look at it again but actually and he should apologize to her and yeah i think they should talk again on a day where he's gonna talk about this would that be advisable i I don't know but get what she wants and show it i think they both need to redeem themselves in a way Mm -hmm. but i'm saying that but at the back of my mind i'm also like no let this all play out outside of social media it's mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. we've done enough we've done enough snooping into her life and snooping into even his life and trying to discover how many times he's been divorced and mm. uh, you know social media is nasty that way yeah. i never wanted to go into all that because why would i imagine myself going to google oh no i i, I got stuff to do <laughs> And on that note, we are going to end this right here. Thank you so much for being with us. This was a bit different than usual, but definitely very interesting to see the perspective of different people, what they think. And yeah, not everything is black or white. Sometimes there's a gray area. And that's where we are, in the gray area, about this whole Kevin Samuels calling a woman average at best and telling her that she will die alone. Yeah, wild, wild. Social media is wild. And it has given people such power where before it would take somebody like that maybe decades to ever get a platform anywhere, whether it's radio or television Mm -hmm. or the film industry, now all you need is a camera, a mic or no mic, just a camera, your phone, and you're good to go. And uh, you can be a personality, a YouTube personality or a celebrity or a person of influence, 
Apparently he calls himself the Godfather and I think his followers are called CIA or something like that. Ugh, I don't know you guys. It is what it is. But anyway. <laughs> if you're not, you know, people have, it's subscribers that have given him all this power. Mm -hmm. And that's it because without followers, he would just be humble, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit thumbs up as something as subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. And also, I really want to see your comments down there. I really want to know what you think. Are you for? Are you against? What did you think of our little breakdown? Let me know what you think. If you disagree or you agree, why do you disagree or agree? Let me know what you think. It would be nice to get the comments crack like and sound there. More info in the description box below as well. God bless. Mm.